Welcome to another video for chemistry. In this video, we're going to be discussing precipitate reactions. Specifically, we're going to be looking at two aqueous solution mixtures. Right now, what you see on the screen is a sodium hydroxide mixture. And then we're going to, um, you're going to see us put in copper sulfate and see what happens. So immediately, once the two aqueous solutions are mixed in together, they both look like clear water, but they have ions mixed into them. But as soon as they're combined, you have a, um, a double displacement reaction. You have co copper hydroxide forming into a solid and sodium hydroxide remaining in aqueous solution. So let's take a look at this equation. All right, so what we're going to see here, we're going to notice is that they're both aqueous solutions. And what that means is that um, you know, if you look at the initial reaction or the initial uh, structure of the formula, it, you might get the impression that copper sulfate is actually combined together in the liquid, but in reality they're not. They're both they're both ionized, and they're just floating around uh, in the liquid. Okay, so you have copper aqueous and sulfate aqueous, and then the same thing with sodium hydroxide. Okay, sodium is floating around, dissociated from hydroxide. And then what happens when we have that reaction, okay, looking at the product side. So now we're going to take, what we're doing right now is we're doing a complete ionic equation. So we're looking at all the players involved in our two mixtures. So this is the reactant side, and now we're going to look at the product side, okay. And of course with the sodium hydroxide, here let me step back a second. You'll notice on the right side, so sodium sulfate, okay, it's aqueous. So in reality, it's actually dissociated from each other. And then the copper hydroxide is a solid. I have that highlighted in red. They are actually combined together. So that blue precipitate, that blue solid that you see forming uh, when the solutions were mixed, that's actually a copper hydroxide, copper two hydroxide that is forming immediately. So we have a complete ionic equation, but we want to actually see what is going on in this reaction because not everything that you see is actually involved in the reaction. So we're going to go step by step on the reactant side. Uh, atom by or atom by atom or uh, molecule by molecule to see what is actually involved. And in order to do that, we we need to see we want to see which of these elements changes states. That is the clear indication of involvement in the reaction. So if you look at copper on the reactant side, it's aqueous, and then on the product side, it's a solid. So there's a change in state. Sulfate, okay, sulfate remains aqueous on both sides, okay. And then sodium, so then we're going to eliminate sulfate. And then if we look at sodium, sodium aqueous, and actually sodium remains in aqueous also on the product side. I just don't have it uh, indicated there. So then we're going to eliminate those because they're not changing in state. That means they don't change. They're not involved in the reaction. And then hydroxide aqueous turns into a solid. So it does change states, which means it is involved in the reaction. So. To go from a complete ionic equation to a net ionic equation, I want to eliminate, I want to eliminate my spectator ions, which are the ones that I have crossed out. Spectator, think a spectator in sports, somebody sitting in the fans, not actually involved in the game. Uh, same thing in this in this regard here, that we have atoms, elements that are not involved in the actual reaction, so you want to erase them out. So we're cleaning up our equation here. Copper plus hydroxide. A reaction occurs to produce copper 2 hydroxide solid. That is my precipitate. This is my net ionic equation. When I write in just those are that are involved in the actual reaction of the equation. Well, that does it for this video for precipitate reactions. Uh, there will be another one coming up of another precipitate reaction soon. Good luck in your studying.